Hello YouTube, it is That's So Brandon back with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, it's kind of going to be like a continuation of my previous tutorial of how to add a link into Photoshop. Um, so if you guys haven't done that already, please go do that. If you guys don't know how to do that, go check out my previous tutorial. I will link it down in the description below. Please remember that if this video helps you, give it a big thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe because I'm going to probably be making more tutorials very soon. So continuing on with this tutorial, I'm going to be using two programs, which is Adobe Photoshop and Mozilla Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunderbird is my email client that allows me to create lists and stuff, send out newsletters, um, send out e everyday emails. Uh, it's just like Microsoft Outlook and honestly it's pretty much just like logging into your email service provider online and uh, sending out a link or sending out an email. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this in Thunderbird. If you guys aren't familiar with Thunderbird or if you want to follow my tutorial 100%, uh, go ahead, download Mozilla Thunderbird. Great program, very reliable, very secure. Uh, just go ahead and download it uh, and follow my tutorial and you'll be perfectly fine. So continuing on with this tutorial, I have an image here in Photoshop already l designed and linked to my recent YouTube videos that I want to send to a promoter. Now just before I get into the video, I would like to give a huge credit to everybody who's asked for this tutorial, but one person specifically who shared my link on Facebook to, I assume, either his friends or followers. He said, hey, Brandon, thanks a lot for your very useful tutorial. It really made my day. Now, could you also make my week by telling me how to embed the HTML page into an email that can be sent quickly and easily? I'm a musician and I'm trying to create a template page that all my links to my website, YouTube videos and etc. could be on to send to promoters. If you have a tutorial on how to do this, it would forever be grateful and, of course, spread the voice about your powerful tutorials. Thanks, mate. Well, David, I have a tutorial on this and I am going to show you how to do it today, uh, specifically for you and anybody else who's obviously watching the video and also everybody else who commented on my last video asking. Um, so I have it all designed, all linked up. Again, if you don't know how to do that, go check out my other tutorial. So pretty much go to File save for web just like you would i like to click this button so that i don't have to individually select each slice so click this button it'll select all of it you can save pngs jpegs gifs anything that you want i'm specifically going to use jpeg for this and i'm going to go ahead and click save desktop now i'm going to save it as a format html and images this one is just going to be like news that's all I'm going to put. The shorter the name, the better. Easier to locate files and easier to send them. So I'm going to save it as news. Now if we come over to my desktop here and I go ahead and refresh it because for some reason HTML documents don't pop up on my desktop for some reason. And I double click it. Look, I have dear promoters, please check out my YouTube channel. And I have links to everything else. Crown the Empire concert footage, Crown the Empire concert in Toronto, all that fun stuff. So I have this and now I am ready to send it out to um, either a list of promoters or a list of different people. If you guys want to know how to do that in Mozilla Thunderbird, I can create a, tut a tutorial to show you how to do that. Or you can go ahead and check out other YouTube uh, YouTubers tutorials. Maybe there's something out there. Um, but I don't know. I can make one if you need it. So I'm all ready to send it. But before I do, there's a couple steps that I have to take into consideration. With Mozilla Thunderbird, before any um, path to the images, um, it adds file colon forward slash forward slash to each one. So for example, I'm going to have to right click on the HTML document, go open with notepad, and then I'm going to go into find and replace. Now I'm going to want to find images forward slash, and I'm going to want to replace it with file colon forward slash forward slash. Now I'm going to open up my images directory, and I'm just going to copy this link here. And I'm going to paste that link after the file or after the two forward slashes. And then I'm going to add a forward slash at the end just so that it knows it's looking in the images folder for a specific image. 
Now I'm going to click replace all. And what that did is that went and replaced the whole directory to every image to a specific directory so that we could find it. Now I'm going to copy the whole HTML code and I'm going to go into Mozilla Thunderbird. I'm going to click right. And for the sake of this video, I am just going to send it to myself. So that's so Brandon at, oh, at gmail.com. And I'm going to be like, check this out. So currently, as you can tell, there's nothing in the body. I have to go into insert HTML, paste the HTML code and click insert again. Now everything's here and everything is linked. I've already imported my list and I'm ready to send it. I'm going to go ahead and click send and within seconds, I'll receive the email because I only sent it to myself for th the sake of this tutorial. There it is. Check this out from Brandon Williamson. All right, so I'm going to click that and I'm going to check it out. Dear promoters, please check out my YouTube channel. All right, I'm going to scroll down. Crown the Empire concert footage. Well, that looks interesting. I'm going to go ahead and click it, see what happens. It opens up to Crown the Empire concerts footage from Toronto from me that I linked. And, um, you know, say I'm over that video, I'm done watching it, didn't really catch my attention. I'm going to go back into my email and click during Crown the Empire concert in Toronto. I'm going to click that, see how interested I get with that. Oh, this looks pretty interesting, you know, spotlights went up. I'm over that and so on and so forth. I can go on and on with that. You can link as many things as you want. Again, it's your document. You could do what you want. Videos, uh, you don't have to include images like I did. I just thought for the sake of the tutorial, I would do that. But I'm hoping this helped you out. Remember, if this did, please give the video a huge thumbs up. It'll definitely help. Please subscribe for more future tutorials coming soon. And if you have any questions, I encourage you to contact me on Facebook, Twitter, or even comment on this video below. I'll be sure to help and I try to respond to everybody I can. But for now, I'm Brandon Williamson, and I hope that helped.